video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, you better get it now. We just got our shirts back in the stock. You better get it now before they sell out over the weekend. Here you go, right here. Fathers Matter. Get it now. Now, you ain't going to get it before Father's Day. But at least you can have it if you if you wanted this shirt. We had thousands of people that requested to have this shirt. We didn't win and got all this stock. So go get it now. Use promo code um, United We Stand. And for YouTube only, you can get 20% off for all of my people that follow me. You can get it in the black or you can get it in the blue. Go and order it now. I guarantee you, you're going to see the icon up here. It's going to sell out before Monday. So you better get on here and get as much as you can because everybody else is going to be doing the same thing you're doing. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Anytime I go live, I make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to my channel. Let's get into this. But I want to talk about something else because I think, if you ask me, I think that Mitch, uh, Matthew McConaughey is going to try to run for president at some, day, at some point. Why do you say that, Mr. Tatum? You see his speech at the White House talking all of this. It's all for all of us to be together. I mean, he sounds like an actor. Oh, I forgot. He is an actor. Saying all these things that let me let me say this, y'all. I I cannot stand men that won't take a stand. This is not all of us. Quit lying. This ain't all of us. These people over here want to take your guns. These people over here want to secure your constitutional rights. It ain't no we need to come together. There is no coming together. So he puts out a video online. I believe he did it on Twitter, and it looks like a campaign video. It's literally done, uh, most of it in black and white, and he's literally filming himself going and talking to politicians on Capitol Hill to say that we all need to come together. And at the beginning of the video, for the people that can't see the video, at the beginning of the video, it's titled, um, This Is and Was About Gun Responsibility. This is about mental health, safety, uh, safer schools, and keeping guns out of the irresponsible hands that, by the rule of law, still have access to them today. Now, I'm not going to read the rest of the bull crap that's in this video, but when you see it, I'll make, make a YouTube video about it. You can watch it on there. But when you see it, you see that this is it's all emotional jargon. It's not rooted in facts and reality. You cannot sit here and tell me that your solution to the problem is this is about safer schools and getting the guns out of the hands of people that shouldn't have it. I, what world are you living in? We just saw there was a shooting in Alabama. There was a shooting at, at, at uh, the medical facility uh, in Tulsa. You know, the kid that got the gun was 18 years old. He got a rifle. Now, now you, do you think he can't get a rifle, a stolen gun? You think he can't go out and get a gun that's stolen? and still do the same amount of damage. Oh, we need to make it harder. For who? It ain't hard for a thug. It's easy to go and, you know, work the streets a little bit. You'll find somebody that's got stolen guns. Have you ever listened to rap music? Have you ever been to Chicago, a.k.a. Chirac? They, can, they got what they call choppers. They can get a chopper any day of the week from anybody. Uh, videos circulating the internet every day of dudes running down the street in, in these inner city communities like the SWAT team. And you know they don't legally possess a gun. The officers, the officers that were killed in California, um, I think it's El Monte Police Department, the officers that were killed there was killed by a person who was a convicted felon who already was on probation for gun charges and got out and got a gun and killed officers. What law? What 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 the laws at? I thought it was against the law to be a prohibited possessor, which means a felon in possession of a firearm. I thought that was against the law. Uh, it is against the law. Now, a person who wants to abide by the law, who's a convicted felon, that say I don't I don't want to go back to jail, so I'm going to avoid being in possession of an illegal gun. That's only for people who want to abide by the law. If you don't want to abide by the law, what is stopping you? Laws are not a force field. I don't know how many times I have to say this. Murder is already against the law. If you don't mind murdering people, you don't mind getting in trouble for a stolen gun. Explain that to me. These things that we see, ladies and gentlemen, are already against the law. The 18-year-old boy 
that, you know, kill those kids in Uvalde. It's against the law to kill people. It is against the law to f- discharge a firearm in the city limits unlawfully. It is against the law to take a firearm onto school campus. It is all, all of, he had violated, it's against the law to shoot your grandmother in the face. It's a, against the law to drive recklessly or, or be a reckless driver, which he wrecked off the side of the road, putting the public at danger. There is so many laws that he broke before he killed a single kid. He didn't give a flying flip about not one of those laws. The speed limit is only for people who want to obey the speed limit. If you made a whole campaign, we need to take the speed limit down from 65 to 60, and that's going to save people from speeding and killing each other. No, it's not. Because I cannot confirm or deny it. I won't be speeding. People are going to still speed if they don't want to follow the law. Private sales. Private sales, they want to make private sales against the law. People will still sell guns to one another. How you gonna find how you gonna find out? How's the government gonna find out that a person sold you a, a gun? It, just say if I had a family member right now that was a, poli- a prohibited possessor, he was a felon. He's not supposed to have a gun. I can still give him a gun. How, who would know? Who would know? Only way somebody would know is if I get caught selling it to him or he get busted for killing somebody and they track it back to the fact that I gave it to him. It's not going to stop me from initially giving it to him. I, I, to this day, I will never understand why we think more and more laws are going to curb behaviors. Rape is against the law. People are raping people every day. Child pornography is against the law. They watch it. They're downloading, sharing child pornography like it's going out of style. I was a part of arresting a guy who shared like 2,000 downloads of, of child pornography. He was like ranked number three in the country. And we busted him, blew his house up. So how do you change things if it's not the law? Well, you got to actually hold people accountable when they do break the law. You got They should be in jail. You know, there are people who show mental health illness signs or signs of mental health and illness that family members don't ever report them. If his family would have reported him, they knew he was crazy as three left shoes on a four-legged man then maybe this wouldn't have happened. Or if the school would have locked the doors like they're supposed to, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Maybe if the police department had a Halligan or had a key, it wouldn't have taken them 40 minutes to get into the school. You're listening to the Off Show. Hold the phone. I'll be back after the break. 